At roughly $15, these Tonys aren't cheap. But what if I told you there's a way to get some of these same songs from those $15 Tonys for free? Best part is that these free songs and narratives come free directly from Tonys themselves. In this video, I'll show you how to get and add the free content, as well as put your own audio files into these creative Tonys. Personally, I find that if you're uploading files, it's easier to use your computer versus a phone, as generally I download music to my computer and not on my phone. I'll go ahead and show you how to do this on the computer first, and then I'll show you on the phone. Before you begin, you need to link the Creative Tony to your Tony box, and you can easily do that by placing the Tony on top. If it's a blank Creative Tony, you'll have a little message saying something along the lines of asking your parents to put files on it. Next, you'll need some audio files. These are the file types that are supported. So as you can see, there's quite a large range of file types. Of course, if you're here for the free content, you don't need any audio files from your computer or phone. So the first thing you're going to want to do on your laptop is open my.tonys.com, which will send you to the place where you can go ahead and sign into your Tony box. This is different than the site where you actually purchase Tonys. So just go ahead and sign in. All right, so this is the home page you're going to see once you're done logging in. And hopefully you already have an account. If you haven't, just go ahead and sign up for it, um, which is uh, pretty much you should already have one if you've already set up your Tony box. Okay, now let's go ahead and scroll down, see that you successfully linked your Creative Tonys. You'll see the Creative Tonys you've linked right here in this section. Here you can see I have four of them. Um, if you have more, you would have to click into the See More Creative Tony section to see all uh, the rest of them. I only have four, so it only showed four. Let's go back to that page real quick. All right, from here, you can simply click on the Creative Tony you want to edit. So here I'm going to edit this one. Here you can see I only have two songs. You can easily upload songs you already have by clicking on this little icon right here. And it has two options for you, upload or free for you. So let's go ahead and start with upload first as that's pretty much really easy. It says here, just drag or drop the files from your library or you can browse files. Okay, I've conveniently left the file that I want to upload here on my desktop. I'll just go ahead and click upload and this is a dot .wav file. Um, it's actually pretty big uh, megabytes, but it should be okay because the max right here is do not exceed one gigabyte. And that was only 65.16. So um, to not bore you, I'm just gonna go ahead and let this part upload itself and we're gonna go ahead and skip ahead. Now that the file has been uploaded to their server, you can do a couple things. You can always reorder the music, see what order they wanna play in, as well as rename the files. Um, personally, I think it's probably better to rename them as a little bit easier for you to recognize them. Um, I like doing like that. Just make sure you put save content afterwards and it'll save it on. So after you're done adding the music onto the Tony itself, you're going to want to update the Tony box because it doesn't really play the music from here. It plays it kind of from the server or what's downloaded inside the Tony. So you want this updated. To do that, make sure the device is on with no Tony on it and just hold on to any of the ears for about three seconds and then you should see the light starts to make a little blinking noise and it turns blue and that means it's downloading and synchronizing with the information that you just put on that new Tony. And once that's done, you can go ahead and see what I put on top. Um, you can also see it's also downloading again, but music should be playing and this is the song I just put in. All right, now let's go ahead and talk about the free audio that you can get from them. Just go ahead and go back to the download or upload icon here, the sign icon, and click on free for you this time. And here you'll find a large list of stuff or a large list of songs and even audio narrative files um, such as down here, learn about Pachycephalosaurus and a bunch of other dinosaurs or a lot, bunch of other things. Um, these are audio narratives or basically little short 10 to 11 minute files and tells you how long they are. So you can select any of these and add them onto your, um, your Tony. So like here, I'm here selecting a few of them. I'm gonna go ahead and select this one here up here which is the Martin Luther King Jr. Um, little narrative, probably tells you a little story about it. Or maybe here, this is a great race, a Lunar New Year story, which is perfect for right now, Lunar New Year's. Let's go ahead and click assign. And similar like before, they're already here, no uploading needed, which saves a lot of time because that uploading the last song, um, it was only like a four minute song, but maybe it was a large file or something. It took me about, I wanna say, probably about four minutes to upload, which is kind of crazy. But maybe my internet speed's slow too, I don't know. But yeah, once again, you can go and rearrange stuff. Um, let's go ahead and just rearrange this up here real quick. And I'm just going to click Save Content. And once again, after the content is done saving and being processed, um, you'll want to go ahead and click on this icon here and hold it for about three seconds for that blue light to show. So now that you've synchronized everything back, you can go ahead and place this Tony on. And now it should be playing the, the Lunar New Year's song, um, narrative. Oh, see, as you can see, it's a little bit different. 
Um, all right, not gonna play too much of it because I don't want to get hit by a copyright thing. Uh, I'm not sure about the copyright about that. So hopefully that doesn't even hurt my channel. So before I move on to showing you how to do this with the phone, which is very similar, let's go ahead and click audio library over here. Um, this is another way for you to see what music or speeches they have available, the narratives that you can download. And one thing I like about this here is let's say I'm gonna go ahead and select a song and maybe you can't remember if you've had a song in one of your, already in one of your creative Tonys. Just go ahead and scroll down here. Let me think of one that I know I have. Yes, here. If I go ahead and click on it, you can go ahead and see right here that it's actually already been assigned to one of my Tonys. So um, that's a good thing. So you don't have to exactly always remember because I have right now, I have four of these creative Tonys and it's not exactly easy to remember what files on each one. But luckily you can always just look online to see what files are on there. But this is another way so you don't duplicate the songs on them. Um, although it's not a bad thing to have multiple songs on some of these. As you scroll through the audio library, you'll notice that many of the free songs and content are the same songs from their regular Tonys. Of course, most of these free songs and content is from Tony's own stuff and not from songs or narratives they collaborated with someone like Disney or Nickelodeon. So the only drawback of this is of course, you're not gonna be able to pick any song you want from them, even if it's from something available for like this Playtime Tony here or this Counting Tonys. They're only gonna have select songs and you're never gonna get anything from Lion King or Aladdin. All right, now let's talk about how to do this with your phone. Just like before, you need to make sure that your Creative Tony is linked to your Tony box, as well as have audio files downloaded onto your phone before you start this. But of course, there's always free content where you don't need to have downloaded. All right, so doing this with your phone, as I said before, is very similar. Let's just go ahead and find the Tony that you've linked. Um, here, let's go ahead and select the one I have over there. And you can see the songs we just added earlier are all still here. And it's the same little icon right here, that little one that looks like the Tony with the upload button. Um, once you click on that, you can go ahead and either click on free for you. Um, there's 18 free content tracks. Um, felt like there was more than that, but you can go or you can go ahead and upload files here. However, I don't have any files on my phone to upload, but that would be the process to do it. And once again, free for you here, you can see all these songs here. All right, so actually this is the first time I've noticed that they have so much free content is that I just noticed the last two over here on the bottom says expired free content. Um, this is, the, I guess, the time and the thing. Um, so now I can no longer add this onto anything or assign them. However, it's not too bad. If it's already previously been assigned, like I said, they won't remove it from the Tony. All right, so a small difference here is that this right here section, when you click free for you, only shows the stuff that you've already added to one of your other previous Tonys or assigned to one of your previous Tonys. To get see what free content there is available from Tonys themselves, go ahead and just X out of here and scroll a little bit further down and you'll see this is um, the collection that you have here as well as more free for you stuff. Go ahead and put explore all. And once again, you see all the stuff that we pretty much saw earlier on the web pages. So sometimes if you do see something you like, um, I would say highly suggest you go ahead and put it onto one of the Tonys so that if it does ever expires, it'll stay, still stay on your Tony. As you can see, putting your own files onto these creative Tonys is pretty easy and pretty simple. The hardest part is probably getting those files because you know most of us these days stream most of our stuff from like Spotify or Pandora and not many of us actually download or pay for our music anymore and have actual physical or not physical digital mp3 files on our computers. But maybe this could change because one of these little Tonys here cost about $13 and I think they are raising their price a couple of dollars or a couple of things like that. They haven't released what price everything is yet, but the price are going up. So this could be a nice way for you to save money is just by purchasing these Tonys. I'm not sure if the price increase includes these creative Tonys in them. However, even if it does, I still think the creative Tonys are probably still some of the better buy because you can put whatever music you want on them. As we know that our children's taste of music always changes or their favorite song changes. So we have the ability to rearrange the music to their liking. So if you've enjoyed this video, make sure to give me a thumbs up and let me know down below in the comment section if you have any questions about this process or anything about the Tony Box as well. I also have a review video that's pretty in-depth about what I like and don't like about it. So go ahead and check that out too if you haven't seen it. And I'll see you in the next video.